What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than they have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2 with another episode of my Legendary Weapon Guide, where we take a look at the legendary weapons, we find out what they do, and who drops them. And today, we are taking a look at one of the rarest guns in Borderlands 2, which is the Madhouse. Now, the Madhouse is a banded assault rifle that has a huge magazine capacity coming in all the way at 113, but if you get this weapon in an elemental, it has a really low chance to corrode the shock to catch him on fire whatever but it also can come with a bayonet as mine did but it has such a low damage and really piss poor accuracy that this makes this weapon actually rare for a reason because nobody wants this weapon it is actually terrible to use especially for an elemental weapon that has such a low chance to do any type of damage over time so this weapon is actually supposed to drop from mad dog out in lynchwood but Gearbox screwed up and accidentally gave Mad Dog the same loot drops as Madame Von's Bartleby, so he drops the Baby Maker instead. You can only find the Madhouse from the Warrior, any of the raid bosses, including Pyro Pete, which is where we got this gun to drop from. So let's take a look exactly what makes this weapon actually terrible to use. So, we're here in Sanctuary, and we're going to shoot this, and as you can see, the bullet arcing patterns actually follow a cross formation. It goes up, down left to right and sends bullets flying everywhere now once these bullets ricochet they will keep going faster and faster which makes this a great weapon for close quarters especially those of you using an anarchy build gauge or a gun zerker i would highly recommend this weapon for it but since it's so rare there are actually other weapons in a game that you can find very easily that you don't have to break your back trying to find this weapon over hours and hours of farming and searching and that's why I say, for a legendary that takes a lot of time to find, it is not actually worth it to go seek this gun out. If it drops, it drops, great. But if it doesn't, fuck it, I wouldn't waste my time searching out this gun. Without any type of damage, augmentation, relics, or class mods, this weapon is just seriously outclassed by every other weapon in the game. Especially when you're trying to take on a huge crowd of robots, which a corrosive machine gun like this should have no problem doing. But with such a low chance to corrode these robots, you are not going to do any type of damage, especially with the low damage output and the accuracy problems that this weapon has. So you are putting yourself at a severe disadvantage using this weapon, especially when going up against flying enemies like these surveyors. They are going to be almost impossible to hit with this weapon. So my name's Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I do want to thank you guys for watching. This was another episode of my legendary weapon guide. And we took a look at the bandit machine gun, the madhouse. So once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.